Hey, Gifted Gang, it's Gianna Jane, and I'm back with another video. If you are new here, it's always a pleasure to see new faces. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. If you've been stalking my channel, why haven't you subscribed yet? Please like this video and tap that notification bell to be updated every time I upload a video. So, y'all, I'm a little late doing this. I did a little mini version of this on tiktok but i forgot to do it for youtube so let me go ahead so we are officially in a new month it is now july and i had a lot a plethora of things that i used up in the month of june so i'm showing you guys my june's empty so if you want to see what i used up just keep watching categories and y'all I always do this I always decide to record when the sun is going down then I decided to be different and do it by the window so y'all gonna see the sun setting maybe maybe not if I get through this fast enough but anyway I'm gonna put these into categories so I'm gonna start with skincare so I use two products by Urban RX Urban Skin RX and these are like little travel size products so I was expecting to get this done really quickly um so the first one is um so this is for the melanin experts this is their even tone cleansing bar three in one treatment it brightens and improves on its even skin tone and i will say that i really did see a difference in my skin with using this now would i repurchase this um yes and no right now i'm on the hunt for more black owned brands this used to be a black owned brand and then they sold and yeah that's another story but if i can't find any good cleansers that i really really love that are not black owned i would definitely go back to this the only thing i didn't like is that little cleansing bar like you had to keep using it so i would wash it really good to try to get the bacteria and then go in my face but i will say this definitely made a big difference in my skin the next product is their hydronutrient radiant restore oil and i really enjoyed this this made my skin glow so i will layer and um, layer this with their uh, vitamin c serum um, it worked really well so that also helped get rid of discoloration i don't really have like my skin is pretty decent but when my face breaks out it always breaks out in my contour area which works perfect right here on my lip which works perfect um because you contour anyway there but i have like these little dots like right here black spots so this definitely did with the mixture of the vitamin c serum definitely work wonders the next product that i used and i bought two of these because they were buy one get one half off when i bought them but as you see the empty one the label came off so i wanted to read this this is fourth ray beauty this is their good mood moisturize gel moisturizer and this is the sister company to color pop i believe i could be wrong but i think it's by color pop and i really enjoyed this so that bottle is empty but i'll show you the consistency of the one that i haven't used yet um i haven't even opened it okay so that's the consistency of it really nice it smells very clean um and I think this has like watermelon oil or something in here. It doesn't, it's, but it doesn't smell like watermelon. It just smells really clean. But this was very hydrating. I use this one mostly at night. Um, Cause during the day, my face, I love my face to be just natural glow. So I use this one at night before I went to bed. And then I would use like another product, which I'm going to mention in a second um, to put on my face too if i'm not using like vaseline or petroleum jelly so if you need a good moisturizer this is not black owned but it did work wonders like i said i'm i'm in the process of looking for black owned brands right now this is what i have in my collection i have others I have fenty skin trying to work on expanding okay next 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 we have 
bag balm skin moisturizer now baby when i say i this works for everything this is a multi-use product and i cleansed her out so what i mainly use this for was for my feet because my feet get really dry um so i use this on my feet and you know put on my socks and stuff this was my after shower routine immediately after i dry my feet off i will moisturize it to seal it in and then i'll put on socks but this also works good for sugaring um you put it all over your face keeps your skin hydrated throughout the night um if you need a barrier to layer to get your fragrances to last longer you know put it on your wrist elbow you know in your elbow anywhere that you want to spray perfume just put a little bit of that or you can use vaseline that works too but this right here was gold now i got this from tj maxx for five dollars normally they're like eight or nine dollars but they had a bunch of these in tj maxx so i got like three or four of these and this was the one i used up so i'm excited because i really love this stuff and it definitely works wonders so let me just read a little bit this is used for dry skin that can crack or split hands and feet elbows knees any skin that is dry callous or rough um a little goes a long way and i was attest to that because one time i was putting it on my face i had to just go ahead and do a whole body down because i had so much on my hands um it you will immediately feel a smooth moisturizing effect on your skin that lasts and i can attest to that so this is great bag bomb it's the bomb in a bag okay surprisingly i use a lot of body care i was shocked now granted i didn't use a lot because some of them were half used and i just went ahead and finished it before it you know it expired and all that good stuff so we're going to start off with tree hut and this is coconut lime this was actually the when i first started getting to tree hut many many years ago this was the very first one that i had and i am obsessed with coconut lime Ooh. yes this smells so good great in the shower you already know i've done several body care sugar scrub videos if you want to see well i can't even do a full because i need to re-up on some of my tree hut body care products because i have used some and i haven't replenished them but i can definitely do a body care video if you guys want to see that the next tree hut scrub that i use is going to be green tea and this one is only sold at ulta um but honey a spa if you want to feel like you are fresh and clean this works great and i would do this i had a green i have a green tea and olive oil uh body wash by shea moisture i would um get out of the shower and spray that um arden elizabeth arden green tea it was a whole process so yeah this right here it slaps and I'm throwing them in the trash as I talk so I can kind of clean up. Because when I get done with this video, I'm going to keep cleaning up my room. I just wanted to make sure I got this video up. The next one is from Onyx Bathhouse. You know, honestly, between Tree Hut and Onyx Bathhouse, I think I like Onyx Bathhouse more. Just because they're a foaming body scrub. So I, it's a nice lather and it just makes me feel cleaner just watching it bubble and lather on my skin but this is pineapple mango and this smelled absolutely divine mm, 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 mm. it literally smells like pineapple mango it smells just like the name so if you need a lathering body scrub i also have the little the matching body uh what is it body butter or body gel something like that i have the matching one to this but i used this up um i think you can still find these at tj maxx but i lately when i've been in tj maxx the onyx bathhouse stuff the girls done caught on they didn't caught on and it it's like barely anything in there because when i used to go oh there were even the ones that were like popular that they were replenished all the time it's like when i went in there last week there were like five literally five scrubs i was so sad but luckily there were five that I already had so i wasn't tripping but again i have so many body scrubs it is what it is all right 
because I guess the talking. All right, next we have Driving Me Coconut right here. And this is Coconut and Verbena. This doesn't smell as loud, like now that it's kind of cleaned out, this doesn't smell as loud as it did. But this was probably one of the very first scrubs. So I had to hurry up and use it for real. It was probably expired while I was using it, to be honest. I mean, my skin, <laughs> it goes through phases, but it's really nice. It's a nice coconut. There's nothing too much to say about it. Um, I used up a Bath & Body Works shower gel pineapple coconut so if you are noticing my videos you will kind of peep what scents that i was really into and what scents i was really using up and this was one of them so coconut pineapple mango like citrusy scents that's pretty much the theme that i had going on for the month of june so that's why you see mostly those type of scents that got used up but this right here, pina colada in a bottle. Mm, this smells so good. It literally smells mostly the pineapple, but I do get a hint of the coconut. So it has shaved coconut, fresh pineapple, and sugar cane. So it's just a juicy pina colada. Mm -hmm. I wish I would have got the body mist to it, but I think when I bought this during semi-annual, whatever it was, it, it was either this year, like earlier this year or like towards the end of last year when I bought this, um, they didn't have it. The body mist was out of stock. All um, right. So moving on, moving on. Y'all would not believe this, but I finished a body mist. <laughs> Can y'all believe a Bath and Body Works? Why well, I didn't miss it that. I mean, there's like a little left in here. You know. Probably not enough to do damage. You got all of my shirt. But this is yummy. And I'm going to tell you how I finished it. Because I did not solely use this on my body. Maybe like 10% of this I used on my body. So I'm going to give y'all a little trick. So do not throw away your bath and body. Like I know with your lotions and your shower gels, after a while you got to throw them away because they're expired. But the same with fragrances. If you take care of your body mist, they're going to last longer. But because these are like watered down and it's just so much liquid, you're not going to go through all these. And I have a ton, a ton of body mist. So what I do is, one, I spray them into my diffuser. And it's a very, very tedious unless you decide to pop the cap off or if you buy um, Body Ecology, theirs is a twist off, but you can't twist Bath and Body Works or Victoria's Secret unless you, you know, get some, get some kind of tool to pop it off. But you spray this in your diffuser and you add some more water to it and you diffuse it, it makes your house smell good. I spray this on my furniture. I spray this in the air like an air freshener. Now, certain scents, you can't do that with. This is, you know, light and refreshing, so I feel like this works as an air freshener, but yeah, yeah, just be very strategic. I spray these on my little, my little faux plants that I have around my room, like this one right here behind me. I spray that, I'll spray that with perfume or a body mist whenever I'm cleaning up and I just want you know to, to smell good because honestly these will last longer than air fresheners get what I'm saying so pro tip now y'all didn't think that I was gonna finish the body mist and not finish the lotion or body cream whatever but yeah I finished this up too this is I, did I read the name? This is Margarita Cupcake, y'all. But this is a flaky vanilla cupcake topped with sparkling citrus frosting to satisfy your sweet tooth. So it has key lime citrus bloom and with vanilla. This was so yummy. And mostly I kind of wore this around the house. I did layer this, but I felt like it worked good enough on its own. But yeah, the girl was she popping with with this so y'all will definitely see now that i know how to get rid of my body mist without throwing them away 
y'all will definitely see more empty body mist now. You know, you may see two or three in, in the month of July or month of August when I, re when I release it. Blah, blah, blah. Last but not least, we have my fragrances. I finished five fragrances this month. Can y'all believe I finished five fragrances? And one of them was literally full. I finished a full bottle in like a month and a half let's get into it so in some of these y'all literally saw in my video on wednesday mind your business i told y'all it was going to be in my empties video did i not tell y'all that okay so we're going to start off with michael kors sexy rio de, rio de janeiro and this is a pretty mango scent i'm not reading any notes y'all i'm just getting through this but this is a pretty mango scent very yummy there may be like a spray left not even ain't nothing coming out of here but yeah this was yummy i really enjoyed this um and i did mention if i can't find the perfect mango scent that smells better than this i will definitely repurchase this because it's dirt cheap i think i paid like 20 bucks for this i think i could be wrong i don't know it was less than $30, I would tell you that. But, yeah. You got this from TJ Maxx, Marshalls. I think Ross sells this sometimes. I haven't seen this in Burlington. But, yeah, this this was bomb. Sorry, y'all. All right, the next one that I finished, and I intentionally finished this on purpose because I was like, why is this just sitting in my collection? Because I rarely reach for it. And I was like, let me just get rid of it. But this is Juicy Couture Gold Couture. And this is actually really nice. I really enjoyed this. There's nothing left to spray like I'm trying to. And I have the matching lotion. I haven't even opened the lotion yet. Um, it came in like the little travel set. This is a beautiful, sweet vanilla, vanillic caramel scent. Mm, it's so pretty. And would I repurchase this? Yes, I definitely would. But because I hadn't reached for it and this was just so tiny, I think this is like a 30.33 mil. Um, I was like, let me just get rid of this. It's just, you know, this is more like a purse scent. You just throw in your purse when you want to, you know, freshen up a fragrance or something like that. I, yeah. But other than that, it was really just collecting dust. All right. The next one that I have is going to be Ariana Grande Moonlight. Now, this is probably my, out of all of Ariana Grande's fragrances, I think this was the least favorite and that's why i wanted to quickly use this up and get it out of my collection because i don't wear it um i think it has like coconut macaroon some notes like that i mainly just wore this to bed um even though there's no lavender because it's purple me being extra i always layer it with van uh, vanilla or lavender scented body products but i mean it's okay it's too powdery for me and it's nothing really interesting about this in my opinion so yeah i didn't really yeah i just made wanted to use up the bottle it's a pretty bottle but the juice inside isn't all that all right next we have black opium floral shot y'all y'all knew i was going to finish this y'all knew that i look at the sun told y'all i was going down but y'all knew i was going to finish this i had to finish this had to had to Ooh. and like the more that i keep smelling it the more i regret quickly using it because now i just kind of want to wear it i don't have anything <laughs> i don't have any more citrusy fragrances i don't think to wear but again i will wait until this time next year to rebuy this during the spring summer i don't feel the need to buy it right now when it's about to be warm weather i mean cold weather um, so I would definitely repurchase this because it's very, very nice. I got so many compliments. I wore this like everywhere, I mean, everywhere. So this is a fan fave. If the people like it, I'm gonna keep wearing it. But it was, you know, bergamot. I think there's some lemon, solar notes, some orange blossom, the coffee. It was really pretty. Y'all already told me, I've talked about this on several occasions. This isn't my Fave, the best black opium black opium extreme is by far the best to me but this is definitely like in my top three i can say that so i finished this up and last but not least the bottle that 
I cannot believe I finished in like a month, a month and a half, but this is Burberry brick for her. Look, look, y'all. Do y'all see this? I finished this three point a hundred mil bottle in a month, maybe a month and a half. I'm just shocked. I'm shocked. Ain't nothing. Listen, I can't spray nothing. Oh, oh, oh wait, wait. Some coming out. Mm -hmm. But this has pineapple, so that's mainly how my pineapple scented products got used. So and as well as margarita cupcake. That's how they got used up so much because I was wearing this like every other day. And this was really good. Would I rebuy this? No, because it didn't last long. But this was very fun to play with and I really enjoyed every ounce of this. Every milliliter of this. This was delicious. Mm. Pineapple. I think there's like some creaminess to it. It literally just smells like a drink. It doesn't smell like a, pine, a pina colada, but it does have that pina colada aspect with the creaminess in the pineapple. Um, I think there was some almond. The almond milk is what makes it um, creamy. But yeah, this is a really nice scent. So yeah, that was everything. I used a ton of products this month. I usually don't go through this many fragrances. Now, when it comes to the... Um, body scrubs it just depends one i intentionally have become more heavy-handed with using the body scrubs now so i can use them up so that they don't expire because yeah like this year i have not bought like semi-annual i did not buy anything for semi-annual this year from bath and body works simply because i have so much body care products that i need to get through so there's no sense there's some i haven't even open yet and i'm not wasting any more money in 2022 because this stuff getting expensive so i said let me just go ahead and uh, do what i have to do so that's what i did that's what i did i became heavy-handed with my body scrubs so i can use them quickly and then some of them again i didn't start off the month of june with a full bottle some of them i probably had enough for like one more shower routine and it was you know gone because i used them either the month before or the month before that so yeah that was all of them guys thank you guys so much for watching um i have been enjoying this journey with you guys and i love you so so much we are almost to 400 subscribers so tell y'all cousins and your baby daddies and all them to subscribe to my channel and be in my business follow me on social media at dre underscore Jeanne, and i'll see you guys in the next video